Your oven needs it. Your television needs it. The device you're using to watch this video needs it. In our day-to-day -day lives, we heavily rely on electricity supplied to us via power lines. These wires span up to thousands of kilometers supplying any infrastructure with the power it needs. But every year in the United States, the equivalent of 18 million homes' annual electricity usage is wasted because of what's known as resistance. Resistance arises from collisions between electrons and the wire's positive ion lattice structure. When a positive ion collides with an electron, the electron's kinetic energy is lost and converted into heat, making the power line less energy efficient. But there could be a solution to this problem. Meet the superconductor. At room temperature, a superconductor acts like any other conductor, providing some resistance. But once the temperature falls to a certain very low point, called the critical temperature, a superconductor will enter a superconducting state and all resistance suddenly disappears. This is known as superconductivity. Let's consider electron A and electron B flowing through a superconductor. As electron A travels along, the surrounding positive ions are attracted towards its negative charge, causing the lattice structure to distort towards it. Think of it like a celebrity walking into a room of paparazzi who gather around her. For electron A, this gathering of positive ions, which we call a phonon, increases positive charge density. When another celebrity walks into the room, he doesn't want to feel left out, so he begins following the group of paparazzi. In the same way, a new electron, electron B, feels attracted to the positive charge dense phonon. Therefore, if electron A moves, the phonon will follow, so electron B will follow as well. Effectively, we can say electron A and electron B travel as a pair, a Cooper pair. But what makes these Cooper pairs so special? All subatomic particles in the universe are split into two categories, the fermions or the bosons. Electrons are fermions, and two fermions cannot occupy the same quantum state together. That's why we see atoms like this and not like this, where all electrons sink to the same lowest energy quantum states. However, when two electrons form a Cooper pair, the Cooper pair itself acts like a boson. Bosons, unlike fermions, can occupy the same quantum state together. So when Cooper pairs form in a superconductor, just like a ball rolling down a hill, they will all naturally occupy the lowest energy quantum state. But how does this allow for zero resistance? The answer lies in the temperature. When a superconductor is at room temperature, the positive ions within it vibrate energetically, preventing the electrons from settling down and forming Cooper pairs. But below the superconductor's critical temperature, positive ions vibrate less energetically, so Cooper pairs are formed. When these Cooper pairs collide with the low energy positive ions, the collisions are unable to excite any Cooper pairs to a higher energy state. If the Cooper pairs cannot be excited, no energy can be lost, so they just flow resistance free. The properties of superconductors, originally described through BCS theory in 1957, can solve much more than just our power line problem. In the future, research into superconductors could pave the way for more efficient motors and generators, high-speed quantum computers, and even fusion energy. One thing's for sure, superconductors are truly super.